So here's the plan. I'll start by writing a trivial demo program pointing out a couple generic challenges we all face writing and supporting custom software. Then I'll show you how easy it is to add Gibraltar to that program. We'll then run our little program to give you a feel for how Gibraltar can instantly improve the supportability of your apps. Finally, I'll show you a quick overview of the rich data Gibraltar collects and the leverage this provides in helping you support and improve your .NET applications. Let's start by writing a little program. Here we are in Visual Studio 2008. I'm going to create a brand spanking new c -sharp WinForm application for us to play with. We'll start by adding a few trace statements indicating when our form loads as well as when the application starts and ends. Next, we'll add a couple buttons to our form. Button 1 will simply write a trace message. Button 2 will also print a message, and just for fun, we'll make it a console message this time. Button 2 will also call a method to do something. But alas, my colleague who is going to write that method hasn't gotten around to it yet, and my stub is going to throw a not implemented exception. Okay, let's start it up in debug mode and take a look at our program. As you can see, our trace messages are showing up in Visual Studio's output window. And, lo and behold, when we click button 2, we get an unhandled exception. And this is a bummer, because Visual Studio won't let me resume my debug session after an unhandled exception. We have to stop the debugger at this point. But no worries, let's add Gibraltar to our project and see how this improves things. We fire up Gibraltar, and right on the start page, we can invoke a wizard that'll take care of everything for us. All we need to do is point it at a configuration file, an executable, or in this case, our project file. Since I'm responsible for this fine program, let's configure Gibraltar to email me session files it produces. So that's it. We're done. I complete the wizard, Visual Studio detects that the project file has been updated, and my project is now fully configured to use Gibraltar. And all the wizard settings are right here, in the application configuration file that Gibraltar created in this case, or would have updated if it already existed. Okay, we've added Gibraltar to our program. Let's run it in the debugger. Just like before, our trace messages still go to the output window. But that exception on button 2 is now handled by Gibraltar. We get a nice clean error notification. And very conveniently, we can resume our debug session without having to restart our program. In fact, having selected the option to ignore subsequent errors, we don't even have to see the dialog again. So this is already a big help for debugging. Now let's run our program again outside the debugger, the way a user will. The first thing we notice is that those trace messages don't show up in the output window because we're not using the debugger. And even though I'm sure none of your code has ever thrown an unhandled exception, it's reassuring to know that Gibraltar is providing defense in depth if there's an edge case in that new guy's code that uh, somehow slipped by internal testing. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Gibraltar is about killing bugs, not just ignoring them. Gibraltar is like the black box on an airplane, silently recording crucial data about your app. And by pressing a hotkey, we can see that data in real time. With a single click, I can focus on just the errors. Another click and I can see the class, method, and line for each message. And if I find myself troubleshooting a live application without Visual Studio available, I can still see what's happening inside my program in real time.
press a second configurable hotkey and Gibraltar will send session data to the email address we assigned. Imagine that your most important customer just hit that edge case the new guy missed. With Gibraltar, it's a snap for her to send you everything you need to figure out exactly what went wrong and kill that bug fast and easy. Her session data just shows up in the inbox you configured. The email provides summary information and double-clicking the attachment pulls the data into Gibraltar for analysis. The package shows an overview of two sessions she ran, including many helpful details about her computer configuration. Let's drill into one of these sessions. You can see that we have all our trace messages and exceptions interspersed with lots of interesting system events. And, as with the live viewer, we have details on where each message came from. So let's slice and dice this data. Let's highlight all the exceptions. Let's see what classes are logging data, including Gibraltar itself. Let's filter out the Gibraltar messages. Check this out. Recurring message getting in your way? No problem. Gibraltar lets you filter on any cell value. Coming back to those exceptions, we have the whole stack trace for each one. Not only that, you can see the actual line of source code associated with each message. With a click, you can see how many unique errors occurred, how often, and when. Gibraltar makes it easy to collect and graph whatever data helps you support and optimize your apps. We use it ourselves to continuously improve Gibraltar itself. Here's a graph of how long Gibraltar spent packaging and sending those logs. Let's overlay it with a line showing how often each operation was performed. Prefer tabular data for analysis? No problem. What about system performance? Let's take a look at how much memory we're consuming. Now let's overlay a chart with our event messages to see what events triggered changes in memory consumption. Notice how time selection is synchronized, so clicking in either chart updates the other. So, I've run out of time but barely scratched the surface of what Gibraltar can do. There's a whole reporting subsystem, cross-session error analysis, that identifies the most frequent errors across all your users. A simple API for creating your own metrics with Visual Studio help integration. And those are just some of the high points. What I'd really love to tell you about is all the careful engineering that's gone into the details. But for that, you'll have to uh, download Gibraltar and try it for yourself, or contact us for a live demo. Thanks for listening.